Hello everyone, my name is Jane Camille A. Crisestomo and I'll be your instructor for the Animal Science 1100, entitled Introduction to Animal Science Laboratory. So our module 1 is the Domestic Animal Inventory and Demand Projection. As an introduction, let us first define what is animal science. Animal science, also known as biosciences, is described as the studying the biology of animals that are under the control of humankind. It, uh, it can also be described as the production and management of farm animals. Animal science is also concerned with the science and business of producing domestic livestock species, included, including but not limited to beef cattle, dairy cattle, buffalo production, horses, poultry, sheep, and swine production. Okay, so since we do not have a face-to-face -face classes, I would like to give you a tour to the different animal projects of our university. First one is the poultry layer production for the production of eggs. Okay, so kapag meron ng face-to-face -face classes and um, nagsisimula na kayong pumasok dito sa CLS, so pwede kayong bumili na eggs dito sa poultry layer project. Next is we have the broiler project. We have a two-tunnel ventilation broiler house with a total capacity of 50,000 heads of broilers. This is under contract growing. Okay. Next is the swine project. Unfortunately, this project is not producing um, pigs at the moment because of the ASF threat or the African swine fever. Okay. Next is the small ruminant center or the SRC. This is a research project but they are also producing milk for selling and they are providing technical assistance to our goat raisers. Next, of course, is the PCC at CLSU Dairy Farm for the pro production and processing of buffalo milk and other dairy products. Okay, so next we have this. Let's start with the terminologies of the in chicken, different terminologies in chicken. The scientific name of chicken is Gallus domesticus. Okay, so first is the chick. Chick is referred to as the newly hatched or young chicken. Pullet is a female bird under one year of age. While hen is also a female female bird but over one year of age. So yung pullet, yan yung tinatawag natin dumalaga. And yung hen naman, yan yung mga inahen. Okay, next is the cockerel. Cockerel are male birds under one year of age. While rooster is the male bird over one year of age. Okay, the term broiler is intended for the bird for meat production. While layer, meaning chicken, intended for table egg production. And ob obiposition is the term for the act of laying egg okay next is duck the scientific name of duck is anas plari plati rings okay the duckling is of course the young duck the drake is for the um, adult male and duck is adult female next is swine or the sus domesticus Swine is the general term used to designate all classes and age of pig. Okay, so boar is the sexually mature male swine or yung bulugan natin. Yung gilt naman ay sexually mature female which has not yet given birth. Ito yung dumalaga. Suckling naman, ito yung young swine that are still nursing. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa sila naawat sa kanilang nanay. Hug naman ay mature swine, usually weighing more than 50 kg. Pig is a broad term for a young swine which has not yet um, sexually matured. Sow naman, yung female swine that already given birth. Ito yung mga inahin natin. And farrowing ang term sa panganganak ng baboy. 
Okay, next is the cattle. Okay, so there are two scientific names for cattle, Bos Taurus or Bos Indicus. Bos Taurus refers to the cattle of Euro European origins, while Bos Indicus is a collective name given to breeds that have orig originated in the Indian Zebu or Brahman. Okay. So, first is cattle. Cattle is the term for any class belonging to the bovine family. Okay. So, ang English ng baka ay cattle. Okay. Yung cow ay mature female cattle. Ito yung inahin. Kaya kapag sinabi natin cow, ito ay female. While calf naman is a young cattle, either sex under one year of age. And heifer is a sexually mature female that have not yet calf. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa siya nanganak. Siya ay dumalaga. Steer is a male cattle castrated before puberty, while stag is castrated after puberty or after attaining his sexual maturity. Okay. The bull is a sexually mature male, and the calving is the term for the act of giving birth in cattle. Next is the buffalo. The scientific name for buffalo is Bubalus bubalis. Okay. The term carabao is a Philippine water buffalo or swamp buffalo. So carabaos are breed. Philippine carabao. Breed yun. It's not, an, it's not the English of um, kalabao. It's buffalo. Okay. Cara is a prefix connected to the sex, class, and meat of carabao as introduced by the late Dr. Valiente Villegas of the Institute of Animal Science in UPLP. Okay, so dinadagdag natin siya sa start ng term. For example, bull. Bull is a sexually mature um, male cattle. Okay. So, kapag nilagyan natin siya ang kara, kara bull, siya ay sexually mature male carabao. Kara cow, sexually mature um, female carabao. Kara calf, young female or male carabao. carabao. And kara heifer is, ito ay dumalagang carabao. Also, ang term natin sa meat ng carabao ay kara beef. Next is the goat. The scientific name of goat is Capra Hircus. Okay. Kid is a young goat of either sex. Buck refers to the sexually mature goat. Sexually mature male goat. Sorry, hindi ko na ilagay. It should be male goat. Doe is a mature female goat that has already given birth. Why Dolin is re referred to as the ready to breed female goat which have not yet kidded. While well, kidding is the act of giving birth in goats. Okay? Next is the terminologies for the sheep or the ovis aris. You, remember, ang basa dyan ay you, not ew, it's you. It is a mature female sheep. While well, lamb is a young sheep. Ram is a mature male sheep. And whether is a young male sheep or goat castrated before puberty and the lambing, lambing is the act of giving birth in sheep. Okay, so um, let's uh, discuss the reproductive cycle of the different farm animals. Okay, so we have lactation days, gestation days, and dry period. Lactation days is, of course, the days where the animal produces milk for the nourishment of their youngs. Gestation days are the days when the animal is pregnant, while dry period is the period where the animal is neither pregnant or lactating. This is also known as the rest days. Okay? As you can observe, the larger the animal, the longer its lactation, gestation, and dry period. Okay, so um, the longest gestation days and lactation days and dry period is for the cow and the cara cow. Next is for the animal products. Pork, of course, is a meat from swine. 
beef meat from mature cattle. Okay, so bakit natin sinabing beef meat from mature cattle? Because if it is a meat from a young cattle, it is called veal. V-E-A-L. Veal. Okay? Cara beef, of course, meat from carabao. Chevon, meat from goat. Muton, meat from mature sheep. Again, meat from mature sheep ay muton, while meat from young sheep is called lamb. Okay? Next is lapan, meat from the rabbit. Okay. Next is the inventory of different livestock and poultry species in the Philippines. Okay? This is as of 2019. So, 2019, yan yung inventory natin. As you can see, meron tayong uh, um, column for species, backyard, commercial, and total heads. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin ng backyard and commercial? Meron kasing two classification ng farms. Backyard farms or commercial farms. So, how can we know if a farm is under backyard or under commercial operation? For the livestock um, or the carabao, cattle, goat, swine, yun ay kapag meron kang 20 heads of adult or more than 41 heads of young or combination ng 10 heads of adult or more than 22 heads ng young, makaklasify na natin siya as commercial farm. Pero kapag ka mas mababa doon, ibig sabihin, under siya ng backyard farm. Kung mapapansin natin, under carabao production, 99% ng ating carabao here in our country is under backyard um, farm operation. Okay? While sa cattle naman, we have 94%. 99% naman sa goat and 62% naman ang sa swine. Okay, so makapapansin natin dito na that we are being dominated by farms under backyards operation. Okay, so for poultry production naman, it can be classified as commercial farm kung meron kang 1,000 heads ng broilers or 100 heads of layers. Makaklasify na natin siya as commercial Kapag ka less than 1,000 heads of broilers or less than 1,000 heads of layers, siya ay under backyard farm operation. Okay. The next table is for the volume of production of different animal products. Ito ay in metric tons. Kung gano'ng karami ang naiproduce nating beef um, by the year, 20, I think this is 2019. Okay. Okay, so this data is from PSA or the Philippine Statistic Authority. Okay, so ito yung na-produce nating mga animal products ng year 2019. Okay, this uh, table shows that we really have a deficiency, deficiency or shortage in the production of milk, beef, cara beef, and of course, chevon. Okay. So, next is in your assessment task, um, you, will, uh, you will ask to compute for the per capita consumption or produ projected demand, PCC or PD. PCC, ibig sabihin kung gano karami yun nakukonsume ng kada isang tao sa loob na isang taon. For example, beef. Ilan ba yun nakukonsume ko sa loob ng isang taon? Okay? Yearly consumption by each person. person. Always remember that per capita consumption is always in kilograms. Okay? So, the, um, the formula is uh, written below the table. PCC is equal to volume of production divided by population. Okay? So, ang population nandun din and volume of production nandun sa previous table. Okay, next is projected demand. It is the determination of future demands and the calculation of future supplies. Okay, this is an example. Um, the formula is PD is equal to population plus annual, annual increase, increase in population times, times um, PCC. Ibig sabihin nito, kung tayo ay 100 
million Pilipinos at bawat isang Pilipino ay kumukonsume ng isang kilong beef sa loob ng isang taon, kailangan dun sa susunod na year, makapag-produce tayo ng 100,000 ah, uh, 100 million kilograms ng beef para mabigay natin yung demand na 1 kilo per year kada isang tao. But as you can see, 1 kilo per Pilipino per year is very short kasi, di ba, mahilig tayo magsagyo. So, well, you can use the um, this table for answering your assessment test. Okay, that's all. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from our class today. And I'll be posting your assessment task for this module. Thank you. Have a good day.